And we have another guest on the line. Aloha. Oh, aloha, Cindy. Is this Richard Yust? Yust, yes. Yust. Richard (laughs) Yust is the executive director of the Maui Food Bank. You were involved and you went through the Weinberg Foundation as well. You've got a quite an interesting background, and I guess it's prepared you for what we're going through pretty well right now, right? Well, I think my background certainly uh, fits the criteria of uh, some of the stuff that is going on, although, uh, you know, we've never obviously seen anything nearly uh, to this magnitude. Uh, um, you know, I've been uh, at the food bank 15 years, and uh, we've been through a lot, but uh, certainly not nothing of this uh, magnitude where it's affecting so many people on so many different levels. Um, and we're just, uh, and we're, we're handling it as, as, as we see situations arise. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, our, uh, staff here has, uh, been absolutely amazing, uh, uh, getting us, uh, getting the product processed and, uh, out the door to the folks who need it, uh, so... Well, yeah. you, you, you were, I, you know, I don't know if it was your background that kind of put you in the situation to be able to better cope with this. And I have to say that that's, you know, how, do, how does anyone cope with this? When no one, is, no one is quite prepared for the magnitude of what we're going through with uh, COVID-19 and, and the people out of work right now and the lack of income all of a sudden happening. Um, but, you you know, I, I have to say making it, uh, I remember in the Maui Food Bank, I've been around 30-plus years, and the Maui Food Bank wasn't incorporated like it was now, although it was incorporated in 1994. What you've done is been able to join a lot of resources together as one, and that really is going to make it easier to help right now, isn't it? Yeah, that's well, that certainly is key to... Uh you know, meeting uh, meeting the demand, and I think over the years we've developed uh, you know community partnerships, and that's what the food bank is all about. Matter of fact, it's even part of our mission statement. Uh, is it's all about community, and it's all about partnerships. Uh, whether that's uh, the food intake side and the donation of, of food and monies, but it's also on the distribution side. So we partner with uh, roughly about 150 organizations that distribute the food. Uh, so that's how the food moves through the food bank. It comes in, uh, it's all, uh, you know, gone through and inventoried and uh, sanitized, and then it's distributed uh, to those partner agencies, which are all nonprofits, uh, uh, quite a few faith-based uh, pantries and soup kitchens and homeless shelters and and uh well and unfortunately not the schools right now but uh the schools are part of our backpack program and there's uh 21 schools uh as part of our backpack program and what we're looking at what we've been doing is trying to uh get additional backpacks at the grab and go meal sites uh so that kids can have some food on the weekends because uh, we know they're still going to be hungry and especially now that they're yeah. a lot of them are not getting the uh uh, the the breakfast and the lunch at school. So uh, we certainly know that there's definitely going to be that demand there as well. So uh, Yeah, no, that's a very concerning fact. You know, uh, we, now we're not going to see kids back in school to April 30th. And I, you probably know the percentages better than I, but I was looking at some of the numbers of the kids that count on schools to get their food. And now, you know, I mean, it just is like, oh, my gosh, what do the families do now? Um, I guess they reach out to you. So tell me how, I mean, obviously we've gone through a complete change in the situation with restaurants. And um, there were many restaurants that rather suddenly had to close their doors because they couldn't handle the new rules. Some are still doing, um, you know, pickups and deliveries. But were you able to work with any of those restaurants or any of the restaurants able to help you out with the food they had on hand? Oh, yeah. We, we've we actually, uh, yeah, that and it really started like two weeks ago. Uh, many of the restaurants uh, called us, and um, along with the hotels, uh, have been calling us. Mm-hmm. And uh, interesting enough, even places uh, we picked up at the duty-free store from the uh, at the airport. 
because wow. they, you know, obviously they had to close. Of all, well, you know, there's so, I mean, food's coming in wow. from many, many resources, along with the wholesalers uh, who no longer can sell to the restaurants in the My. hotel. So they have an overabundance, and uh, and we are the prime outlet to make sure that that food goes into the folks that uh uh, that need it so uh yeah it's been uh it's <laughs> it's it's been quite uh remarkable of the of the outpouring of uh support uh from all these folks because they don't want anything to go no. you know, they don't want anything to go to waste which is which is so wonderful of them why you know why throw it out when there's hungry families and uh we we fully support that and uh and encourage uh uh, obviously, anybody you know, all those uh, all those uh, larger enterprises to uh, yeah to keep donating. Well, of course, some of that food um, isn't frozen food and can't be kept. So then you're under the pressure to get that food out to people who need it. So you need all the people to get it out to the people. So how are you handling all of a sudden this this amount of food coming in and distributing and getting it out to people? Well, yeah, well, to kind of give you an idea, just last week alone we distributed 95,000 pounds of food. <gasps> Not? Yeah. Just, oh, just, my just, gosh, yeah, 95,000 pounds of food? Yeah, and that was just last week. And, uh, that's, uh, and a lot of that is produce. Uh, which is wonderful because we obviously want to try to encourage people to still keep try to eat healthy as best they you yeah. know, as best they can in these times and uh, but yeah it's uh, it's remarkable how you know, a well oiled machine uh, we have here at the food bank and if you were, if uh, you were ever to come by well, I'd love to, <laughs> love to t- take you for a tour and uh, obviously once this is over uh, and show you uh, truly uh, how well this operation works here and uh, well actually because that's the only way you can move that much well, food is well food, I is, years ago did a, a show when I was uh, with uh, Akaku doing my own TV shows I went down there and did a whole show just about that but I think it was actually before you were even there it was a long time ago and it was mind-blowing but that it's grown so much since then and now I'm thinking, my gosh, getting ninety five thousand pounds of food out now now how do you how do, how you know obviously with the new restrictions and and concerns people have, how does this affect the people who are the drivers who are getting this out? How do you handle all of that part yeah well so uh, so the way uh, we have it is the agencies that are doing distributions and uh, and just to let you know on our website. There is a uh, interactive list of uh, distributions that are currently happening, um, and so that and they're literally all over the island. Um, but uh, but the drivers obviously uh, are doing protective measures, masks and gloves, and mm-hmm. sanitizing, uh, sanitizing, and uh, keeping all that you know, keeping along the guidelines. Uh, that we've been told and handed down by uh, by Feeding America and uh, and other government uh, sources, uh, we're trying to abide obviously by all guidelines as best we possibly can, uh, mm-hmm. just to ensure the safety of everyone involved, and that's that's our highest priority. Is uh, but the distributions that are happening, what they're doing is they're uh, they're having volunteers make up bags, uh, and then bags both of dry goods and and uh protein um, produce and then handing that to folks as they drive as they do a drive through driving through uh, where driving through the different distribution sites uh-huh. um and, and and again the list of those distribution sites are on the website Ma- is that uh, maui food bank dot dot org dot org maui food yeah, bank maui food bank dot org and uh yeah it's, if you scroll down just a little bit you'll see the distribution sites. We also uh, have online if people want to, you know, because we're not really accepting uh, food donations from individuals, mm-hmm. um, just from large, you know, larger enterprises and, and established uh, businesses. Uh, but if they want, if people want to donate, they can uh, go to our virtual food drive, which is also on our website, and then that equates into uh, into the container loads of food that we are purchasing. Um, yeah, we've already we've already have orders in for roughly one hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of product. That's uh, on it. Well, it's, some of it's already been delivered this week. We've got more coming every week uh, uh, from here until <laughs> the near until the 
uh, for quite a for quite a while here, we've got orders placed, uh, ongoing orders placed uh, of container loads of food. Wow! Uh, so you're 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 doing the buying as well, the purchasing of food and the distributing of food, besides the ones that are giving you the food. And are are you? I assume you're buying, getting more food you need now to distribute than even before. Correct. Yeah, our, well, because we're what we're doing is we're ramping up, uh, obviously, our inventory for the increase that we've already seen in demand, mm-hmm. um, because we know that that is going to continue to spike uh, as you know as the weeks go on here. Um, so we are ramping up our our capabilities. Matter of fact, we actually rented additional warehouse space yesterday, so that really, we can, yeah, wow. And, um, yeah, fortunately, it just happens that it, it's right down the street from us, and it just happened to be a vacant building, so it worked out perfectly. And then uh, we actually kind of cleaned it out today and uh, getting ready to move some inventory over to the additional warehouse space. Uh, but And then we also are the only distributors of the USDA commodities uh, for the entire county uh, of Maui, and that's food that comes in um uh, for a couple of different programs, and uh, that's emergency food uh, that comes in from uh, you know, from the uh, uh, USDA, and that's pallet loads, wow. and truck loads of food as well wow. that we distribute. We also, uh, you know, we also do shipments to Molokai and Lanai. Oh my gosh! Uh, oh my, yeah, every at least every month, and we're looking at doubling those uh, orders up, and and. And doing a, a, every other week uh, shipment over to Molokai and Lanai, uh, and that's that's you know that's eighteen twenty pallets of food every time oh we do gosh. a shipment over to uh, over to Molokai and uh, and Lanai. So yeah, so we don't want to you know we don't we definitely do not want to forget our our uh, our neighbor islands no. and uh, or uh, we've been in partnership with them for many many years and and have been doing these shipments for. For a long, long time, and uh, but we're looking at uh, increasing those shipments as well because we know the demand is uh, uh, is going to spike over there as well. So. If you're just tuning in, I'm talking to Richard. I, is that Yust? Yust. Yep. Yust, uh, executive director of the Maui Food Bank, and um, we're hearing some numbers that are staggering. Um, and 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 I, like I've never really could have imagined before, with ninety five thousand pounds of food delivered last month, last week. Now let's go back to the families um, and with the kids, a lot of them who would have gotten food at school programs who aren't now. For the ones who didn't ever think they'd need the help, that now all of a sudden find themselves needing the help, what do they do? Yeah, I would. Uh, there's a couple options, and probably the best option is to uh, go to the website, go to our website, org, and look at the distribution list uh, uh, that is right on the uh, right on our homepage. Uh, and they can go to one of those distributions and um, and receive a uh, you know receive receive uh, food assistance at those at those distributions. Do they have to fill out a lot of forms, or is it not? no? There's no no forms. It's uh, drive by. Even the uh, even fortunately, the uh, government has uh, with the with the USDA commodities where normally there's quite a bit of paperwork involved. They've actually even uh, allowed us to forgo with the uh, signatures and and all that, which you know surprising for yeah. the, for the yeah. government. But uh, but they they are they have allowed us to uh, to do that because you know, obviously they. Well, uh, well, I have to say, Richard, you I am sure you probably go every day, although you're around food all the time. I'm I imagine you've gone to the markets. I have been shocked and I I've been to a couple of markets and seen how empty some of the shelves are. And I'm not a hoarder. I don't usually buy a lot of extra food, but when you see all of these empty shelves and I'm not talking just toilet paper. I mean, of course that's all gone. But when you see other people just bringing i mean they're getting tons of canned goods and all these things are are going um then of, of course um people go in and and they see that and then they go well i better buy more because look at we're running out of food you know um and this creates a chain effect that's kind of scary to think and all of a sudden people think well, we're not going to have enough food and maybe the harbors will be closed and maybe this will happen and no, maybe- no 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 <laughs> you know we yeah no we need <laughs> we need the the panic buying uh really uh not to be there mainly because you know the flow of food has actually been quite 
quite good and because mm-hmm. uh, they're not being distracted by a lot of the all the other products that that they normally have to deal with so they're really able to focus on on food and uh no and the harbors are not closed mm-hmm. and and the flow of food is actually doing quite quite well and and you know i i know most of the stores still have stock and there's still and there is inventory coming in and just like the food bank you know we've got container loads of food coming in uh, so we encourage people do not you know you don't need to hoard there will be food available and um and of course uh we're you know the food bank is uh is here and our partner agencies are here for uh when you know when things get really tough and you and you um, are either out of money or or in a desperate situation uh that's you know we're here for emergency food and uh, we certainly are uh, doing that well, that you know what you know what you are so needed. I tell you, Richard, I'm so impressed that you're able to function under this additional uh, time of crises. And now, uh, of course, with the increased amount of need for food and you getting it out and distributing it more and getting it out to the other islands, etc. Do you have a need for more volunteers? And can you even deal with more volunteers with these? You know, the times where people aren't supposed to be doing extra work outside the home. And right. No, we're actually uh, sort of discouraging volunteers. We're really we're, we are limiting our volunteers to pretty much just one a day here, actually wow. at the food bank. Really. Uh, mainly because we're I don't know I you know we're pretty well organized, and any you know major distributions are uh, are handled by staff. Um, now, some of the sites possibly could use some volunteers, and, mm-hmm. and again, you can call those sites that are on the website uh, to see if possibly uh, you could reach out to them and see if they need some help. A lot of them, are, a lot of those are uh, faith-based organizations, mm-hmm. so uh, so you could reach out to them, and they certainly are in the community and uh, could uh, give you some guidance on where you could uh, lend a hand if that's what you. Uh, if that's what you feel that you need to do, but remember, you know, you gotta, you still gotta remember the social distancing and and mm-hmm. uh, and stay uh, and stay safe. That's that's really the priority right now. Do you have a hard time doing that when you you're, you're I know you're used to functioning a certain way. Is it difficult for you um, and your staff trying to work with these new guidelines? Well, we we've, we've changed our procedures quite a bit uh, as far as. Uh, how we, uh, you know, the, as far as the agencies coming in when they're coming and getting food, as far as the staff and and, and their working environment, uh, no, we we certainly have uh, certainly made some uh, made some changes. Matter of fact, I've got my my mask around my neck and I've got my <laughs> gloves on and uh, <laughs> I have my gloves on and I have a scarf over my microphone so oh, I, do you, yeah, I was, was going to talk to you through my mask but it I might know, be kind of muffled I, was but, t- so, <laughs> so I, get I figured that. I probably shouldn't do that I know so. I get that I, okay so um, and I have to oh by the way I wanted to congratulate you you got the 2019 nonprofit um, organization of the year last year in 2019, Food Bank was the best nonprofit it received that recognition, and I, and I think and I know why, and I think people hearing this can understand why, and and we know how valuable you always are, but I think at this time the value is unbelievable, and when we think of how much an organization like the Maui Food Bank is needed now. I mean, in a way, aren't you really glad you have all of these systems in place to be able to provide this amazing benefit to people? Well, yeah, and it's taken us, uh, you know, it's taken us years to evolve to, uh, you know, to this stage. And certainly it's really shine, you know, it shows, shows how well a, a quality, efficient system can work. And I feel that way, that it's actually working quite well um is you know and and the staff you know i just got you know the staff here is just tremendous they above and beyond and no questions asked you know what do we need to do uh how can you know how best can we do it and they're constantly always looking to improve uh, all of our methods and uh yeah, it's uh, it's it's quite an amazing uh, organization to be part of, and I'm so so uh, proud to be uh, 
you know, part of this food bank and, uh, and, the, and, and, and really proud to be part of this community because this community, unlike any other I've seen, it just comes together when the need gets great. I mean, mm-hmm. we all know that we're, you know, we're in this together and we all, you know, know that we have to take, try to take care of each other as best we can and support each other and lift each other up as uh, as best we can and uh and we will get through this and uh there will you know and the and the sun you know the shun, the sun will shine and uh there'll be brighter days ahead but uh, there will but, and we just don't know when and it's it's like you know the good people when i think of all the people who are out there you know you and the, the nurses the doctors and all the people who are in the the police department and and i have to give a shout out to the mayor there's been a lot of uh, pressure on um, everyone in the, the mayor's office, the county council, and all this understanding the need right now. The other day, I, I don't know if you were this, but yesterday we got a call from Brian Perry saying that they were going to have a food drop off at the Pokalani uh, Community Center, uh, Mayor Tavares Community Center, and that there was going to be food there available for free, you know, and that was at noon. and. And it was quite a bit of it that was available. I know the mayor's probably been in touch with you and concerned about making sure everyone's covered with food as well, right? Yeah, we're constantly in communication with the mayor's office, and and you know, and, and then uh, all you know, the nonprofits work so well together here, uh, you know, throughout Maui County. But the nonprofits work so well together. It's. Uh, you know, and the Maui Nonprofit Directors Association, which is a collaboration of all of us nonprofits, yes, and we all like to collaborate. We 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 share resources. We are all in this, and and all of them are stepping up as well as uh, again as best they can for for the folks that they uh, serve and the and the need that they're serving. We are uh, again grateful to be part of this com- community here and. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's all hands yeah all hands uh, on deck here, and we are forging ahead and uh, making the you know the best of a bad situation, and uh, really uh, trying to do everything we can to uh, to keep fulfilling the need, or or you might say feed the need. As, as that's a good like word i get here. it i yeah. got the fun you're feeding the need um so but i guess at this point then if you have everything in place the biggest need you might have then would be um being able to have money and and have enough money i mean just just give people an idea what does it cost i mean doing all this what does it cost to be well, able just to, to, just to give you an idea the like a uh, average container of of food is is rough. It's it's over thirty thousand dollars for a container load of food, plus plus shipping, plus freights, another eight to ten thousand. Uh, so that's all part of you know that's all part of the mix. So you're looking about rough, you know forty thousand dollars per container, and we have container at least one two containers coming in every week. So money is, and we can you know we can leverage the money because we buy at below wholesale pricing. And uh, we buy from distributors, and we buy from another food bank over on the mainland. So uh, we try also buy local produce. Um, obviously, there's no manufacturers of many products here, so you know we're kind of limited on on food products except for produce. So we're trying to support the local farmers by buying local produce and keep those farmers uh, up and running, and uh, because they're not selling to the hotels right now, so. Yeah, we we uh, I had, quite a few farmers. That's got to be huge, a huge thing to deal with because here's all the local farmers and they can't sell to the hotels right now. A lot of the restaurants are cut hugely back. A few are still doing it, but not the volume. So they have all this produce that they counted on, and so yes, they've got to get that done. So their income's cut back quite a bit as well. So it's it's really got to be tough, um, tough times. But getting back to the money. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> getting back to the money. Um, so you were, and I, my math is terrible, but I mean, I, w- I was losing track at about $100,000 there. As I'm oh, going yeah, we have, yeah, yeah, we've got over $150,000 in, in, in the pipeline for food purchase, uh, purchases that we've already placed. Uh, and that doesn't even include our local uh, purchases that we'll be making from the farmers. Um, so yes, donations are key uh, right now. 
Uh, you know, and one of the one of the big things that we're going to miss out on this year, which which we just found out yesterday, is that letter carriers food drive where people leave the food out at yeah. the mailbox. Yeah. That's our biggest day of the year. That brings in roughly fifty, sixty thousand pounds of food. Really. And that has been postponed and most likely canceled oh, for the year. No. So that you know is equal to literally two full container loads of food that we bring in. In one day. Oh my gosh! So we're yeah. So we're. When did that usually happen? I can't. Remember. It was May. It was um. Uh, it's uh, Mother's Day weekend typically, and, and same day as the charity walk as well. And and so. they that's going to be no food drop on post office pickup. Yeah, and, no, that has been that has been completely canceled uh, until later notification. So yeah, unfortunately, so. that is and that is our biggest d- distribution or donation day of the day of the year. So we mm-hmm. are. Um, we're going to miss out on all that, all that food coming in, um, on that. And we, how know, do you we, make up on that? How can people, Well, we're going to buy, we, we have, we have no choice, but we're, we're going to have to, uh, buy, you know, additional couple of containers, um, because wow. there's no other way of making up for that. Quantity. So an, another chinga, 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 we're talking another hundred thousand dollars out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We're, yeah. Well, you we, Easily spend probably close to a half a million dollars through uh, my gosh through this uh, crisis. Oh, yeah. Wow! Just, just in, in food. So, so yeah, no, we definitely could use the financial support. Uh, we appreciate this community. They they really again pull together and uh, and and want to help their neighbor. And uh, this is one that's one way of doing it. Is go to our website, and you can donate right online. Um, and. Uh, yeah, are you are you going to have enough? Are you going to have enough money? Yeah, unless people really are starting to contribute, are you going to have enough to get by? A half well, a million well, dollars is a lot of money, Richard. That's a lot of money. Well, we're, we are getting some nice, nice donations are coming in. So uh, again, uh, we've had some uh, sizable contributions from the Hawaii Community Foundation. Uh, there possibly may be some money coming in from the state uh, state as well. Um, we've had some other family foundations uh, step up with large donations, so that's helping out. And then the individual donor is the most important. The you know the individual donor who can give ten, twenty, you know a hundred dollars that goes a long, long way for uh, helping out your neighbor here. And if we all did a little bit of that, if we all could give you know three, five dollars, whatever. Um, the volume of those individual um, twenty five dollars here, ten dollars there. I mean, each time you're doing that, there's someone that's getting free food. Um, that's right. And, you know, yeah, I, and none of this food is ever charged for. So that's something that, you know, uh, it's it's. It, I think it's good for the community to know that anybody receiving food from any of the food bank uh, uh, partner agencies is never going to be charged for this food. So that, it's uh, it's that's so always, important. That, yeah, it's kind of comforting, I think, to know that people aren't going to go out there and try to sell uh, sell food boxes and that sort of thing. No, it's uh, we're all in this together, and nobody should have to, uh, you know, especially now, especially now with so many people with you know who are going to be out of work here or and who are we are yeah, yeah yeah. So we're encouraging folks um, again if you're in need of food, just you know go go to the website, look at the distribution list, reach out uh, to those organizations that are listed there, and uh, and get get the food assistance that you might need to uh, you know help you help you get through this. Well, we have a couple minutes left, and I really do like to give some shout-outs. Um, I know you've got some wonderful people. I'm sure they're working every time, the staff people there. Oh, you know. <laughs> uh, dog, almost. Yeah, so, I yeah. mean, I know Marlene was kind enough to help me uh, put you in touch with me, but um, would you like to give a few shout-outs? Oh, sure, yeah. I mean, I, kn- I know one person who's been, I mean, just working – to no end and, and keeping things running, and that's uh, Keith uh, Wright, who is our director of operations. He is, I mean, keeping keeping the warehouse running, keeping you know, just keeping the show, keeping the show going out there. Uh, it, it, I mean, amazing. And then Marlene Rice, our uh, development director, uh, who's really been instrumental in getting the uh, word out. Uh, uh, and Chelsea Ham, who's our uh, community relations manager, amazing job with all the volunteers and managing that and the and the box makeups and 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 all that. And then uh, Tita Evie is our agency uh, director, 
and she's working with all those 170 plus agencies, keeping them wow. all uh, on track and uh, on task of what they need to be doing, and uh, and then all the reporting. And then I've got a uh, we we have a staff of 13, so I'm not going to list them all, but uh, but yeah, there's so many great people here, and it's just what a what a fantastic. Uh, what a fantastic group, and I couldn't have asked for uh, better people to be to be with be with me here uh, during this time. Uh, everybody, yeah, everybody knows the role, and everybody's stepping up and uh, going above and beyond. You know, I would have thought that with all the work and the volume that you're doing, I would have thought you'd had a bigger staff than 13. I was thinking you probably had about 25 or 30 people, and 13 people are only on, on your staff, right? Only, only thirteen, and uh, we distributed uh, three million pounds of food last year. Wow! <laughs> so wow. That, it, it's that's pretty a, astonishing. That, it is uh, miraculous. But that's that's because again, everybody knows the role. Everybody's on task, um, and uh, we don't we don't have a lot of inefficiencies. Uh, and if we do have one, we address it right away and and resolve that inefficiency and streamline it to um, to make it right and make it. Uh, and make it work for, uh, you know, for the organization. So to just recap what we've been saying, you do not go down to the food bank, folks, to get food. Thank <laughs> you. you. do not go down there. You, there's uh, tons of, I mean, you have like 150 different organizations out there, um, and, and they're all, if you go to MauiFoodBank.org, you can find out all these places that are distributing food. And if you're in need of food, if you have a family that doesn't have enough money to get food now that school's out and you have kids that are hungry, you do not have to be hungry. You can get the food, and you do not even have to fill out paperwork right now. You just find the organization that's a distributor near you. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. And you go to that distributor. It's a drive through You pick up the food, and you don't even have to think. But in the last few seconds before I go, please donate. Please help out. There's a half a million dollars needed here before we get through this, folks. And you go to MauiFoodBank.org and give a little bit. Everyone give a little bit, and it'll make a huge difference, right? Yes, it will. It it goes a long, long way, and it will help us, uh, yeah, help us get through this, and uh, and we will get through this. And, All right. Uh, well, thank you so much, Richard. Thank you, Cindy. Aloha. Yeah, stay safe. Aloha. You too.